Hey guys, so as you can tell from the fact that this video is in black and white, this video is a fairly serious one. Yay, seriousness. Oh god. I'll start off by telling you guys about my hair. I don't know what it's doing. It's like... So, the title of this video is Regret, or Regrets, or something like that. And honestly, we all have regrets. All of us. No matter how much we deny it and say, oh, no regrets at all, we have regrets. All of us. Just because we have regrets though, doesn't mean that we're bad people. Doesn't mean that we're any less human than the next person. It just makes us humans that have messed up, or made a bad choice, or a bad life choice, something like that. I've made a few bad life choices, and I've hurt some people, and obviously for that I'm sorry if they ever see this video. In the past, I've done some stupid things. I pushed people away, and I used people, and I made people feel like shit because I felt shit myself. I hated myself and I really did not like who I was because I felt lost. I didn't, I felt lonely. This time was the section of my life after I found out that my mum passed away. I had no idea what was going on in my heart and my mind and my soul or whatever, you know? And I just lost all consciousness of who I was and I just turned into this sort of monster who I don't want to become again. Looking back on that now, it's sort of changed who I am today because I look back at that and I think, you know, that's, that's not a good time. That's not a time that I should be thinking about. I should be happy that I've got this life and that I'm actually alive and I've got all these people around me. I've got my girlfriend, I've got my nan, I've got my, uh, my, my uncle, I've got all these people around me and my dad as well, you know. Yeah, it's difficult because I still feel lonely within myself, you know. And I paint this picture of happiness, and I paint this picture of I am happy when I don't think I am. Because I've lost someone that I really can't replace. Yes, I might, like, I don't know, I might befriend someone who's, like, in her 50s or whatever, and she could be my mum. But I can't make someone else my mum, can I? You know, I can't just do that, you know. I can't host a talent show called, you know, Mum Factor or something. In my past, I've done other things, like I've cheated on people, and I have moments in my life where I just don't know what to do, and I just do stuff, which isn't good. Using people for their friendship and things like that, just because I felt, I felt needed. And in my time of darkness, I pushed them away, because I kind of, I did it for me, I did it for them, but at the same time I ruined their sort of trust in me, you know? And I haven't got the confidence to build back the walls because right now I need to build my own wall within myself, you know? I need to start being a tidier person, my room's fucking state right now. I need to get driving lessons, I need to get driving tests, I need to get better at YouTube videos, I need to get better at college work. You know, it's like a massive to-do list. And personally, I want to say a massive thank you to B, my girlfriend, who has helped me so much through this time. And she made me realise that Mum would be pr proud of me. And, yeah, I've got two pictures of her by my bed over there. Um, one of them is my first ever picture when I was, like, a baby. And it's like I'm still in a little baby cloth thing, you know. And she looks absolutely tired because she's just given birth to a human, you know. <laughs> and, and there's a picture of her about 10 years before that, looking absolutely stunning. There'll be someone in your life who has like changed your life, or even given you life, you know, has given birth to you or whatever. I, I'm not sure if they're still in your life, you know, I hope they are. But hold them close and keep them yours. Don't ever push them away, don't ever push your friends away. But if, you, if you're going to have a reason for it, you know, don't just do it for the hell of it. Your family will always love you. That's something that B has taught me. So, I love you B so much. Thank you for helping me and showing me the light, I guess. This video hasn't really had a lot of purpose, I guess. It's just me, me, it's sort of me pouring my heart out onto the camera and just telling you what I'm thinking right now because I just, just get it off my chest, you know? Yeah, so my next video will be about music and bands that you should listen to and stuff and people that you should watch on YouTube as well, hopefully. There's a person who I've promised I'll share his channel. And so, Max, I will do it for you next video, okay? I promise, I think you promised, mate. It's cool. Right, I'm gonna go. I need to go do some filming at school. But, yeah. Uh, 
Yeah. <laughs> yeah. If you would be so kind, comment below someone that you're thankful for and tell me about them and share the love, I guess. So keep smiling, guys. Stay safe, stay awesome, and I'll see you soon. Bye. Fucking hell.